This is an interactive PDF export of my finished file, and this is my interactive table of contents. You can see if I click on any entry, it takes me to that page. I, I've also put a little hyperlink down here to take me back to the table of contents. And in Acrobat, if I click on the bookmark thing here, you can see that there are bookmarks, and this is very handy. Uh, it is actually in the, in the basic structure of the document, and what that means is if we were to export to EPUB or various other interactive features, that this would go with it. So an interactive TOC is a very, very good thing to know how to make. And now we're going to start first by adding an extra page to the front of our document in order to put it on. And to do that, we'll have to work with our numbering and section options. To add a new page at the head of the document, we go to our Pages panel, and this new page will hold our table of contents, so we kind of have to do this first. And when you open your Pages panel, just go Insert Pages. And we want to insert one page at Start of Document, and in this case we don't want it to be based on the master page because we don't want a page number on it, so just go None and click OK. Now our page is here and notice that it's numbered as page 1. Well I don't want this to be numbered as page 1. I want page 1 to start here with my first actual font page. So now I have to go to numbering and section options and do a little fancy footwork. I can't change this to page 1 right now because InDesign will not let me have two page 1's. So the first thing I have to do is go to, in my Pages panel menu, go to Numbering and Section Options. I choose that and I'm going to temporarily change the style of my numbers to A, B, C, D and click OK. Now everything is A, B, C, D. Now I choose my second page, which I want to be my page 1. I select that in the Pages panel, choose again Numbering and Section Options Make sure, again, that your second page is selected, and we're going to change this back to 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we want to make sure we select Start Page Numbering at 1, and then click OK. And there we are. That's exactly what we want. So we have a page A here, and our page numbering starts where we want it to. In our next video, we will be navigating the very complicated uh, table of contents dialog box, but I'll walk you through it, don't be afraid, and you'll be happy to hear that we've already created all of the styles that we need to make a really excellent functional table of contents. So stick with me for the next video.